Hello, and welcome to Linux Academy's Elastic Stack Essentials. My name is Miles, and I will be your instructor throughout this course. So just a little bit about this course. This is going to be a beginner level introduction to the Elastic Stack. So if you don't have any experience or knowledge about what the Elastic Stack is, its components, terms, concepts, that kind of thing, then that's okay. This is the right course for you. And just to clarify, this is a non-certification course, so there will be no study guide or prep exam. So who is this course for? As I touched on, it is beginner level, so anyone new to the Elastic Stack, you're in the right course, as well as anyone who is a big data enthusiast or interested in big data technologies. Some of the prerequisites you'll want to have coming into this is a good understanding of the Linux shell and how to set some basic system settings. So if you have an LPIC 1 or RHCSA, then that is great. Or hey, if you just have a bunch of Linux experience, then that's good too. So just some of the things we're going to cover. We're going to talk heavily about the core services of the Elastic Stack. So that is Elasticsearch, Logstash, Kibana, and Beats. These are the services we'll focus heavily on because we'll be doing a hands-on demonstration with these as well as a lab. We'll also cover the premium services. So a lot of these require a subscription from Elastic, but we'll talk about them, how to use them in a production environment, what kind of features they add. So XPack adds a lot of plugin features for the enterprise and Elastic Cloud is basically Elastic's hosted offering for the Elastic Stack. And then we'll talk about Elastic Cloud Enterprise, which is the same platform Elastic Cloud uses to host your Elastic Stack, except they offer it to you. That way you can use it to host your own containerized Elastic Cloud services on either your own data center or in your own private cloud, whether it's in AWS, GCP, or Azure. And as I mentioned, we'll be doing a hands-on demonstration of the core services. So by far, one of the most common use cases for the Elastic Stack is log aggregation. It's definitely not the only use case, but certainly a common one. So we're gonna do a demonstration where your company wants to utilize the Elastic Stack for performance and uptime monitoring of its website, in addition to gaining insights on who is using it and how. Within the log aggregation use case, web access logs is a very common one. So this is gonna be a great demonstration and kind of intro to how to use the Elastic Stack services to solve this common problem. So here's just a quick diagram showing kind of what we're gonna set up here. We're gonna have a three node architecture where our first node is going to have our log that we want. So we're gonna install a client, in this case, FileBeat, to consume that log and ship those events to Logstash. With Logstash, we're going to process each event. We're gonna enrich it with GeoIP and user agent parsing and that kind of thing. We're gonna break that event down into its basic fields, the types of things that we would want to search on. Then we'll store those events in a multi-node Elasticsearch cluster. We'll talk about the different types of nodes with Elasticsearch. In this case, we'll be using one master and two data nodes. And then next we'll use Kibana to attach to our Elasticsearch data and search and visualize that data in a friendly web UI and show how to gain some insights into, into what that data holds. This has been the course overview for the Elasticstack Essentials course. My name is Miles and I hope to see you in the next video.